Hello and welcome to Coding for Kids. In this episode, we're going to look at input and using input in print statements. Input lets us get text or other data from the user and use it in our code. Let's look at a couple of examples. So here I've just opened up my Python idle. It's taken me to this page. Actually, for this code, we're going to need more than one line of code for this to work. We're going to need two. So we're going to go to File, New File, and we'll open up this. And this is where we can run our code. So let's define our variable. Say we want to ask what someone's favorite sport is. We're going to define it. So sport, we can call this whatever we like, equals saying it is input. See, it's gone purple. That means it's a built-in function. And just like our print statements, we're going to go open bracket, inverted commas, and say, what is your favorite sport? Inverted commas and close bracket. What this will do is whatever we've written in here is what it's going to ask the user for. And then whatever the answer is, that's what sport will equal. So if I run this and it says, what's your favorite sport? And I say football, then sport now equals football. And to test this, we can go print, open bracket. And because we're not printing words that we're typing, we're printing whatever this value is, all we have to do is print sport. We don't need inverted commas. And so now to run this, We've got to go file, save, and I'm just going to save this as input practice, save. And now we go up the top, click run, and run module. So it's asked me, what is your favorite sport? I might say soccer. I press enter. Because my, I put soccer as what my favorite sport was over here, it's printed soccer. And to make this look a little bit nicer, you can see here there wasn't any space. We put a question mark and a space. So if we save this again, I just did Command S to save it and run it. It will tell us, what is your favorite sport? See, this looks nicer. If I say swimming like this, and press enter to run it, it will print out swimming. So that's the basics for input and print statements. I'll put a link in the description to another video where it has some challenges for you to try and the solutions to those challenges are at the end of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.